Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is the next video in the Sawan series. Um, a series of videos put together by myself, Mish of Twisted by Mish, and Energy, the metaphysical crone. So today um, you've got me on my own sim and we're going to make some Sawan cakes. Uh, you might have seen in my stories on social media uh, a little a few little snippets of them. Um, so, Sawan cakes, where do they originate from? Um, it's my belief and my what from what I know of them is that they were baked as offerings to the spirits of our beloved dead. And so then also shared in celebration of the last harvest. Okay, so I bake in gratitude um, of all the ancestors who came before us, those who, you know, brought, brought wheat, grew the wheat, grew the spices, uh, raised the chickens, and, and so gratitude of that. They also very much remind me of rock cakes that my great, um, my great pop used to make, my dad's pop. Um, so the sort of the flavour of them reminds me of those as well. So there's many different legends around the sewing cakes or even um, soul cakes, they're called. Um, they were baked in the Samhain fires, in the bonfires. Uh, there's a little bit about, I, I've heard a little bit about them being um, left outside to appease the angry spirits. Um, and so the next, they were left overnight outside and the next day they were taken and they were buried because it was believed that if you ate those, then you would... Um, it would cause you harm because you will have um, eaten that the energies of those angry ghosts or um, um, not so happy spirits. Um, there were, there's I've heard about them also um, around the eighth century being baked and um, given in exchange for prayers for their beloved dead. Um, people would go around uh, singing and offering prayers and were given sowing cakes in exchange or soul cakes in exchange. Um, I guess, you know, that now that's a modern version is the trick-or-treating kind of thing. So souling, I think, it was is one of the terms that it was called. Um, but there's many legends around that as well. Um, so... Okay, so we'll get baking. The recipe to the cakes will pop up on the next screen, so be ready to screenshot if you want to do that. Um, and yeah, let's get baking. Okay, starting with your 300 grams of flour. Uh, I use a whole meal flour and add to that 125 grams of butter. I've chopped mine up into smaller pieces just to make it easier to incorporate with the flour. You can also, if you've got really cold butter, grate it into the flour. It will also help you to rub it together a bit quicker. Just rubbing the flour and butter together here, you want to just get it to resemble um, a breadcrumb. So just rubbing between the fingers. I'm a bit of a rustic cook, as you'll see. And so don't worry too much if it's not too fine a crumb type of texture in these kinds of cakes. Um, to ha it, it works out fine. The end result is still the same. Okay, so once you've got that to resemble like a breadcrumb, um, you'll see it'll sort of clump together a little bit. 
you can add in your spices now state their purpose cinnamon we've got for protection nutmeg for luck ginger for health uh, sorry ginger for success and allspice for health okay and then just stir those in to combine you see i use a butter knife this is something that's been taught to me um, by my mum and my grandmothers um, to use the knife because it uh, for, for this type of cake won't overwork the dough okay liquids in another bowl wet ingredients an egg to represent life okay we've got some apple cider vinegar to protect and cleanse some milk also for life and honey for binding together, um, for bringing everything together with a little sweetness. And thinking about the honeybees um, and their, the honey is the, um, the reward for their hard work. Okay, so just want to combine those wet ingredients in a bowl. Um, my honey probably could have been warmed a little bit just to make it... Um, blend in a little bit easier um, but um, you'll, as you'll see like it the end result works out fine so just mix all those together um, and then you want to add them in the center of your dry ingredients just giving them a stir stirring them in um, again using the knife Okay, and then a couple of intentional stirs um, from spiraling in from the outside, um, going in a clockwise motion, bringing in all that love and gratitude for, you know, those who came before us, for those who taught us how to cook, the, the grandmothers, the ancestors, um, and just, yeah, stirring in a bit of gratitude there. Um, once you get it all nicely combined, you want to give your hands a little bit of a flower and just, um, bring it all in together. Um, this is a really soft dough. If you need to add a little bit more flour, um, once you've got it all together, you want to turn it out onto um, uh, onto a floured board and um, just sort of press it all together. Okay, some people might like to refrigerate it here and to get it a little bit firmer so you can roll it out, but I find just to um, plonk it on the board and press out instead of worrying about a rolling pin. Um, you just want to make it all even in thickness so that when your sawan cakes are baking they will all bake at the same time so I'm using a cookie cutter today to cut them out into rounds you could use a floured glass to do the same um, we're looking at about one and a half centimetres, one to one and a half centimetres in thickness. It, it doesn't really matter just so long as they're sort of uniform in size so that they will all bake together um, at the same time. Collect up your scrap um, and just push it back together again so you can cut out some more. So don't waste any, just um, bring it all back in together and then push it out again. These ones you'll see I made a little bit thick, so I'm just pressing them out and just re-trimming re them so that they're all the same size, the same thickness. Okay, the round shape um, is representation of the wheel of the year itself. So a representation of the wheel. Okay. Otherwise, if you were just making them, you could cut them even out with a knife or 
um, in any other shapes that you like. Okay, so once you've got all your rounds cut, what we want to do is to grab your knife back and put a cross mark in each of them. The cross is for remembrance, but also it is for the four seasons, for to represent those four seasons um, and the wheel itself. Okay, so just pop a little cross in each of them. I just push it down, not quite halfway um, through the thickness. And again, just with my, my trusty old butter knife. So just cross them all through. Then you're going to need, after they're all crossed, you will need a tray and just line them with, I line it with a brown parchment paper, but you could grease the tray as well. So I've just popped them on the tray and now going to give them a brush with, I've used egg wash. You could also just brush them with milk. This just makes them a little more golden when they come out of the oven. So once you've got them all brushed with the egg wash, we're going to just stud them with, today I'm using sultanas, um, and just to stud the, stud the quarters with the, with the sultanas. This, of course, is the representation of the cardinal points as well as the wheel and the four seasons. Okay, so stud each of those. You could use currants or raisins or even um, dried cranberries are really nice or a combination of. But today I've got sultanas. Once that's all done, you want to pop them into an oven that's preheated to 170 degrees. No fan. Um, and just for 10 to 12 minutes, they'll come out all puffed up and golden and delicious. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed um, my little video on baking salon cakes. Uh, if you give them a try, let me know how you go. I'd love to see photos of them. You can share them in my Facebook group or um, Energy's Facebook group. I'll also put the links up on at the end um, to those groups so you can join and follow. Um, so we share a little bit more in our groups as opposed to our public pages and of course would love for you to share too. Um, so thanks again, many blessings um, and a blessed Zoan. And here's to remembering our, our ancestors and our beloved dead. Thank you.